Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Miss Piggy. Can you pour it in there, Arthur? No, can you? Oh, Jenny, go away. Hold on. Okay. Jenny. She stole some food. You don't like orange peels and half-eaten pears? You silly creature. Okay, Miss Piggy. There you go. Now, Jenny, you're supposed to have the leftovers. She's guarding that. She's like, no, I want the orange, the banana peels. Abby's been feeding Jenny with his little shovel. It's super cute, but it gets the job done. Some chickens are already out. And looking at the door, I can see that either from the inside or from the outside, somebody helped them. Maybe I see all dirty again. Getting dirty again. You see this? Maybe I see Good morning, chickens. <gasps> Are you okay? Oh my word, what happened? I've got to get in here and see what's going on. So in here, everyone else seems to be okay. Um, so that's good. And since we're in here, let's go ahead and check for eggs. None there. None there. And none there. And there is absolutely no sign of a struggle in here. So we were pretty nervous because of his garish blood around his neck. Um, we're not sure if it's a rooster fight. We have too many roosters or something else going on. Um, but we, we counted up all of the chickens and they're all there, so that's good. Um, and maybe he was just the first one to try to push out and he got cut on the wood. Who knows? Good morning, goats. Are you licking the last of your corn or grain or whatever it was that she found? <laughs> Gilbert was just standing there watching us a moment ago. I would say he's at the door now. Good morning, goats. Good morning. Oh, yeah, you want the bucket, don't you? Let's go. Oh, no. So he's never heard us, but we've decided with kids and, you know, with me not having an experience on a farm and uh, me being the one that normally deals with them, we're going to go ahead and sell him and then buy another buck that has been handled by people more. And that should be better. And I'm hoping someone who has more experience will be able to um, help train him and get him a little bit better before we <laughs> spoil him too much. No playing with the water, please. Now to get the harnesses on. Okay, so day two of the halters. Um, well, this buck has already taken off his halter and it's around his neck, so we've got to fix that. But the others are wearing it quite nicely. And they're not fighting too much right now. 
I think I'll look up how to train. Whoa, something spooked him. The chickens. But I think I'll look up how to train a goat to a halter, um, or not a goat to a halter, but a horse to a halter. Because I'm sure there's a better way than just forcing it on them and getting them used to it. Like maybe some sort of sweet snack or, but I want to look up the best method for this. If you've done it before, I'd love to hear how you did it. Um, eventually, we want to train these goats to pull a cart. So this is like step one of a long process. I forgot the bucket out there. So now we're gonna go back and go get it. <laughs> Look at that beautiful view. You can see smoke. We have heat. I'm so excited. Yesterday on the Facebook page, um, I had asked what people did in on snowy days because my eyes had been hurting. And when I researched it more, I discovered it could be due to dry eyes. Um, I mean, obviously also the UV rays, but um, because it could be dry eyes, I realized it's probably due to the wood stove because it dries things out a ton. So I have started a campaign in my home to bring serious moisture and I can already tell a difference in my hands. I can't wait to show y'all. This is the kind of dryness we're contending. I have this humidifier going in the bathroom and this pot of water boiling in the kitchen. Okay, so to put it in perspective, we have the pot over here the humidifier is on this end of the house, right about there, but on the other side. So this is in the front, kind of keeping that, and we have a humidifier on that side. And it seems to be working because I saw some fog on the windows. But I figured that if we're, I mean, since we're boiling a pot of water anyway, it would be really great to add things in it to make it smell really good like the whole house you know hi arthur i'm going to be trying some different recipes i've asked people on facebook to go ahead and comment with their favorite ways to <laughs> just boil things to make um, the house smell wonderful if you have some favorite recipe recipes please share them because i can throw things together and make a delicious pot of you know soup or a casserole or whatever but I've tried before to <laughs> throw things together just to make a, a good smelling home in a boil, boiling thing of water. And it was atrocious. It was awful. I need help. <laughs> so um, recipes, please. Miss Piggy's in a playful mood. So tomorrow is trash day, which means I can start clearing out some junk that the previous owners left. Um, I always fill up the um, trash can as much as it can. Plus I put a box out that is filled to the max. Um, one time I did three boxes. They took it, but the trash guy, he picked up the first one, threw it in, went down to look at the next one and saw that there was a third and he looked up at the house and just shook his head. And I was like, sorry. <laughs> so I try to do it a little bit more slowly now, but I'm gonna keep pushing on. <laughs> Since we moved here in October, I've mostly been focusing on this area next to the house. This is all pretty much clear, which is wonderful. But then you come over here and there's still some more. Um, Sadly, this trumpet, um, Arthur picked up yesterday and blew on it. Oh my word. I uh, immediately told him not to ever pick anything up from the ground and put it in his mouth, but uh, we need to get this place cleaned up, don't we? Okay, so 
After I was done, I realized I didn't pick up all the little things here, but... I found a piece of a star. Yeah. But it looks so much better in this area. I got a bag full of trash, so that's good. Look wow. who's back. I have no idea where Brownie went off to, but he's back. And he's not hurt, and I've watched him walk, and he's not limping. Well, I we have no idea of where he went, but he's back. That's exciting. I just noticed that this other duck looks like it's lost part of its wing. I'm going to kind of herd them to see if it's limping. A duck is like this. It is definitely limping. Oh, poor little creature. I'm going to have to look up what to do for this little guy. If you already know, please let me know in the comments. But I'm going to stop making it walk. I'm just starting to feel bad for it. Poor little thing. I walk into the chicken coop and see why we have to clean that off so often. Look at these little guys. They're up here roosting away. Maybe we'll get eggs from you soon. That would be exciting. Speaking of eggs, do we have any over here? Oh, no eggs. And no eggs. How strange is this? Though, so, I've heard before that if the chickens face a stressful day, their egg production can go down. And based on the duck and Oreo, the chicken with the blood on it, I'm thinking something happened and um, the poor chickens. So they might be too stressed to lay eggs or there might be one in the tree. Nope, no eggs in the tree. Mr. Brandon is home. Yeah, me see. So this is cracked corn here. I don't know if you can see it there. But uh, we can ferment this stuff and it's supposed to make our feed last longer and it makes it healthier for the animals. I haven't done it yet. But I need to get a strainer and put it in a bucket, let it sit for a couple days. And then when you scoop it out with a strainer, it should be a lot better and more cost effective because it takes a lot to feed all these animals. Now, if you go for smart and you climb, I show them this way, but they don't want to go that way. Oh, you see the green, don't you? The green bucket. It's actually corn. I didn't know any better. I think you were having a baby. <laughs> I'm hoping that one of our does is pregnant. I'm thinking the one without the bell. Um, this one here. She may be pregnant just because of how wide she's getting. Either that or she's finally starting to get a good healthy rumen. We'll see. Such joy. No, 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 not in the field. Come on, guys. Do the gilbert all the way to the, all the way. Oh. It's okay. They're going in there anyway. <laughs> Did you try to lock me in there or not all night? Yeah. Oh, I can't lock my daddy up with the coach. You never let me have any fun. Come here, Abby girl. So we're examining this chicken. The duck. Yeah, the duck. And it did lose some feathers here. It there's... also lost a toe. And there's some bleeding right here where you can see the muscle. But it's not bleeding out. 
so it should be okay. It's going to take a couple weeks to, for it to heal, but it should be fine. Should it be walking around outside? Well, I don't think we can stop it. Okay. Um, I think it should be fine. Your friend's going to be just fine. Right, I know you're worried. I am worried. We got maximum security now. I'm glad we didn't lose any of you guys. Brownie, you no stay here. Off. Yeah, you gave us give us a scare. All right, you guys sleep tight and stay stay safe tonight. Good night. Good night, my old Kentucky home. Sleep tight. Don't let the predators bite.